Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Uh, just got back from Niagara Falls, I'm going to share the video very, very shortly. Um, but the question I want to ask you regarding this video is, would you feel safe visiting Niagara Falls right now? If you're not too sure, just watch this video, I'll show you how busy it is on a regular Saturday evening. And uh, leave a comment in the comments below and let me know, would you visit Niagara Falls? Enjoy the video. All right, I'm at it again. I'm a sucker for punishment. So anyway, I missed my call in uh, last weekend. I had lots of people after my last video telling me to get down to Niagara Falls on a Friday or a Saturday night and check it out. Unfortunately, I never made it and I've paid the price. Uh, some kid did a viral video of uh, Clifton Hill and uh, good for him, uh, whinging about uh, Canada's Wonderland not being open and comparing Niagara Falls. Uh, but for those people who have been following me, I've been coming down here to Niagara Falls on a regular basis for the last four months since the beginning of lockdown. And we're going to be down here today, see how busy it is. And uh, I look like a right tourist today, look at this. I've got my uh, <laughs> camera hooked onto me here so we can get in amongst people. I also have my mask, which I'll put on very, very shortly. Uh, but we're down here by Niagara Falls. And we're just going to quickly walk over to Clifton Hill, then up to, um, into, sorry, Table Rock, then up to Clifton Hill and we'll take it from there and see if people are practicing the social distancing and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, see how it goes, right? So anyway, if you're new to the channel, my name's Nigel, this is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs, and let's go. Well, anyway, if you're new to this channel, uh, this is Niagara Falls. And I'm in the Niagara region where I live, and I like to do videos from around here. And uh, this is one of the biggest tourist attractions in the world. And right now we're in COVID, uh, the United States just across the water there, that's the United States. The border's closed, so they can't come down, they can't come over. So right now we're just dealing with uh, people from our own provinces being here. And we just entered phase three, or stage three, whichever you want to call it here in Niagara Falls. Uh, we started it yesterday on Friday and we'll just uh, see how busy it goes. All right, getting pretty much closer to it now. Put the other camera on, see what we can see. Okay, stop the video, stop the video. We have uh, breaking news to tell you. Well, you might have heard about it by now, but anyway, here goes. Um, I made the video of what you're watching on Saturday evening, and I was meant to have posted it yesterday, but for some reason, I got delayed uh, posting it, which is a good thing, really, because something happened today, something which I wasn't expecting, and by the looks of uh, social media, uh, most of you weren't expecting either. If you don't know what I'm on about, I'm on about this. Go Transit train service to Niagara Falls is going to resume again this Saturday, August the 1st. What's wrong with that, you ask? Well, in theory, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, don't get me wrong, I, we, we all want to get things open as soon as we can, but we do have a big problem here. We have a problem of all being very confused. I know I'm very confused. Uh, first thing this morning, uh, the first thing I saw on one of the uh, regional web pages was this. This is from the Niagara region. Look at this. It states, your actions matter, Niagara. With fewer restrictions in stage three, it's up to us all to continue to slow the spread of COVID-19 and keep each other safe. Let's be COVID wise. That is what the region of Niagara posted first thing this morning. That was nice, I thought. Then, a little bit later on, the news comes out, breaking news, 21 new cases of COVID confirmed in the Niagara region. 21 new cases. Okay, getting confused? Okay, you will get confused when the next story comes out. So we now have the Niagara region telling us we're doing a good job, let's keep everyone safe. Uh, we've just got the figures that we've got 21 more cases. Then out of the blue, there's a press conference being held down at the Via Rail station, uh, Go Transit station, announcing the mayor of Niagara Falls, announcing the return of the seasonal Go train, which means lots and lots of people coming to visit us. That's right. Yes, this was me. 
confused, very much. Just like many of you, confused. This whole situation is causing many, many mixed signals, many. It doesn't matter whether you're for COVID, if you believe in the COVID or not, when the government is sending these messages out to us all, all that happens is we get very confused, very. And I'm very confused. It was only just over a week ago, which we'll go into detail in a minute on this video, that uh, the Niagara Falls was the center of attention uh, due to a viral video, which clearly showed social distancing not happening. Clearly showed. Then we have the government telling us, we can't do this, we can't do that, we must do this and we must do that. And we all must work together to try and conquer COVID-19. Then out of the blue, the trains are running and they're now gonna start bringing in, get this, this is the best bit. They're gonna start bringing in lots of people from phase two. Don't forget, Niagara region is in phase three. Where's the train coming from? Toronto, Mississauga. Guess what? They're in stage two. <laughs> it's confusing. It really blows my mind. Blows my mind. It really does. Uh, so anyway, what do you think about this? I, from what I've read on the Niagara Review, on the comment section and a few other places, a lot of you are just shaking your heads like I am. Uh, please leave your comments below. I'd like to read them and I'll try and respond to as many as you can. But in the meantime, let's get back to the video. And uh, after the video, leave your comments on the video as well. Do you think it's safe enough right now? Would you feel safe going to Niagara Falls? Okay, let's carry on with the video. Hi. Alright, it's getting a little bit more busier here as it gets narrower. Uh, there's nothing on the ground that says stay left or stay right or anything like that. So it's a free for all. Apparently, Niagara Parks and the tourist industry of Niagara showed people there'll be signs down to try and guide people in the right way. Uh, but that hasn't happened, as we can clearly see. There's two meter signs uh, posted on the sidewalk. It just means people just stand there. That's all they're doing.
Seriously, no one gives a crap. No one at all. Yeah. They're having a day out and that's all that matters to them. Nothing else. Looks like the Americans got the hint. Looks like Maid of the Mist is no longer running. It was running the other day. Maybe the, uh, the pressure from the news media got to them and they pulled it because there's no one down there. Just the Canadian one running today. This is Canada versus the United States and the coronavirus stakes. Now you know why they have more than us. All right, here's an observation I have. Just walking along here, it's got a lot of people being very hot and sweaty and slightly out of breath. So when they exhale, where do those water droplets go? I just did that. All right, those water droplets, just gonna come out of your mouth, catch the little bit of a breeze, and probably land on you. It's not rocky science, people. Put it on, it protects you. It doesn't stop you from getting coronavirus 100%, but it limits the risk. You're, it, it lowers the risk immensely. And if you're asymptomatic by wearing a mask, any moisture that's coming out of your mouth is now not gonna go anywhere else. It's gonna stay in the mask. And that's why we wear masks. Put a bloody mask on. All right, I've took mine off right now. I'm social distancing, there's no one around me. I've got a clear little walk right now, so no mask on. But when should you put a mask on? Put one on when you can't physical distance, when you can't get that separation. Put one on, like when you're in a big crowd back there or in a shop or something like that. And if you say you can't, you're gonna use that stupid freaking excuse. It infringes on my civil liberties or something like that. Bug off, that's rubbish. That's rubbish, absolute rubbish. I mean, when the lockdown started, right, back in end of March, all the bars, restaurants, shops, everything shut. We didn't have anyone out protesting at the end of March saying, oh my God, open up my shop, open up my shop. No, no, we all just got on with it. We all stayed home, we all did as we're told. All of a sudden, now you gotta wear a mask. People are protesting freaking everywhere over a bloody mask. What is wrong with you all? It's a piece of freaking material. And I'm also not buying some of these people who are saying, I have an illness and stuff like that. Okay, unless you've got a severe disability or a really, really bad medical condition, you've got no excuse. Even people suffering with asthma have said they have no issue putting a mask on. 
The only excuse you should have, really, is if you've got no bloody ears or you really, really do have a hard time breathing because this is just a little piece of light material and all it is is mind over matter. Trust me, it's mind over matter. It's like snorkeling. You've never been snorkeling before. The very first time you put a snorkel in your mouth and try breathing, it's really, really weird. But eventually you get the hang of it. That's all it is. It's just something new you've got to get used to. Do it because you might save your life.